I have a message from the Lord, hallelujah. The message unto you I bring. It is recorded in his word, hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. Look to Jesus now and live. It is recorded in his word, hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. Let us pray. Our precious Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. You have brought us successfully to the end of February 2023, and now we are in the month of March. We appreciate you. Thank you for the gift of life. We have seen the beginning of this month. We shall see the end. This month, we never see our end in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, come and speak to us your word that make us wiser unto salvation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Welcome, my beloved, to this wonderful month of March 2023, month of marching forward. Hallelujah. I want to thank God that you are alive. I want to thank God for his mercy that kept us to see today. Amen. Uh, we are here again to remind ourselves that as a sojourner here on earth, we should make our ways right with God because eternity has no end. Let's make our ways right with God. Eternity has no end. The purpose of this channel is to remind us of the mind of God concerning our individual lives. It's not a group thing. It's not a family affair. It's an individual choice. That was what we looked at in the month of February. To God be the glory. I think a lot of you have decided to make the right choice. God bless you as you do so. Before us is another new month, and this month we are looking at a message from the Lord titled, Overcoming Personal Weaknesses. Overcoming Personal Weaknesses. The Bible tells on the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, that my people perish because they lack knowledge. Not just knowledge, but good knowledge. Knowledge of the mind of God, knowledge of what God has said, some principles that God has set in place that cannot be broken. He said, because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. I pray that you will not reject good knowledge in Jesus' name. And the best knowledge we can get is the knowledge from the word of God. Because he is the beginning and the end. He is the alpha and the omega. Before him there is no other. After him there is no other. Today we are looking at um, a scripture. A very wonderful scripture that is very important. In short, I have two scriptures here. The first one is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. The second scripture you may write is 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. So I read Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, see also we are compassed about with such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Hallelujah. As an individual created by God, God has a mind concerning us. But once we are born into this world, we are faced with different challenges, different issues. That has to do with our own lives. Our own lives. Your own life. My own life. We have weaknesses. We have some bad character. That are not good. Some of us. Some of it we inherited. Some of it we cultivated by ourselves. Some of it we copied from people. Characters that does not glorify God. These characters are so bad. That at the end of it. If we don't check it. It will bring shame and disgrace unto us. So our topic today is overcoming the sickness of character. Overcoming the sickness of character. There was a time some few years ago, the Lord came to me and told me, daughter, everybody in this world is sick. Everybody, whether great or small, rich or poor, educated or illiterate, everybody is sick. I say, ah. Uh, Everybody is sick. He said, yes, so. Everybody is sick. I said, how can everybody be sick? People are moving up and down. And he said, yes. And that sickness is so bad, 
It cannot be diagnosed by any doctor or any therapist. Uh -huh. And the person that has this sickness, we don't even know that he or she is sick. Ah, I say, this one is serious. So. Somebody is sick. You don't know that you are sick. He said, yes. And no doctor can prescribe any medication for you to be healed of this sickness. Then I said, Lord, thou knowest me. I don't understand this. I said, what kind of sickness is this, Lord? He said, sickness of character. Hear me, I hear me. I heard him clearly. I prayed that after today, God will pop your ears open so that you too will start hearing from God. He said, my daughter, sickness of character. He said, this sickness of character is so bad that the person that has it may not even know that she or he or she has it. He said, she's the one or he's the one that will discover that I have this sickness. And is that same person that will prescribe the medication for this sickness to be healed. He now started explaining to me that, for example, if somebody comes to tell you now, you, let me use myself as an example, that sister, you eat too much. How will I feel? I will rebuke the person. I say, who gave you the right to come and tell me that I eat too much? It's my life. He said, a lot of people do, today doing whatever they like. And when you try to correct, they say, it's my life. You don't have right over me. That's the sickness of character. Very bad. God hates it. And God cannot help you except to discover it. So that's the purpose of this uh, message. I pray that after this short message, you will discover your area of sickness and begin to apply the appropriate medication in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's listen to this. I wrote something here. I said, hard work can make you a great man or a woman. What sustains you there is your character. Samson, we all know in the Bible, if you are a believer, there was a man in the Bible called Samson. God anointed him from his mother's womb. He had his power in his head. Samson didn't love money, but he loved women. And because he did not adhere, to the instructions, and he did not fight that weakness. He perished with his enemies. Another person who was disgraced by his character was Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot loved money so much. When that woman with the alabaster of oil came to Jesus to, to pour the oil on, his, on him and use her hair to wipe it, Judas Iscariot was angry because he lost money so much. He didn't check it, and what happened? He perished. He hung himself. Another person that bad character, disgrace, was Vashti, the wife of King Ahasuerus. She was so proud. And when the king wanted to see her, use, you know, show her to his friends, she refused to come out. And she lost her place for Esther. Another person I want to talk about is that pregnant woman that was caught on social media. A pregnant woman that one man went to sleep. They said the man was a prophet. A fake prophet went to sleep with her in her, in her matrimonial bed. And the message caught up with her. What's your character? Which part of you is not good? As I'm talking now, begin to look at yourself. Oh. Begin to look at yourself. Today, you are going to prefer a medication that will heal that character in Jesus' name. So that woman on social media, she was all over the world. A pregnant woman, what was she looking for? Is it that the husband could not sleep with her? No. As I saw on that film, that house was comfortable enough. But she brought in a man sent by Satan from the pit of hell to destroy her life and her home. May that not be your portion. Why? Because she has a bad character that she did not check. As you are looking at me now from, whatever, from wherever, you have a character that is so bad, begin to work on it before it will pull you down. Which one is your own? What's your character? What's the bad aspect of your life? Begin to look at it too. Look at it now. I knew my, when I gave my life to Christ, I had to fight to make sure that that character lives, left me. Yes, you talk too much. You are moving from place to place. It's not good. It's a bad character. Begin to check it. You are less talking about people, gossiping here and there. It's not good. Destroy that character before it destroys you. Amen. Hallelujah. Fight to come out of it. Are you a liar? Recognize it from today. I say, from today, I will not tell lies. Hallelujah. And the God of heaven will deliver you in Jesus' name. Go on fast. Do all night. Pray by fire. 
Release the Holy Ghost fire upon that spirit of lying. I cast it out of your life. Spirit of cheating. Spirit of gluttony. If you see food you've not eaten, you're not feel comfortable. You are sick. You cannot stay in your house. You are always moving from, from place to place. Tafia spirit. Declare all night on it. Don't always go to church and declare all night on the devil. The devil may not even be there. The problem we have is not Satan. We are always looking for Satan. No. The major problem we have is lack of knowledge. What opens the door for Satan to come and destroy people? Is their bad character. Satan, Holy Ghost fire, fall and die, fall and die, fall and die. And yet you are wicked. I see some people praying Holy Ghost fire, fall and die. Their character is so bad. They don't love people. Very aggressive, self-centered. No! You have to fight it. Stop fighting the battle that is not there. Fight that character and let it get out of you. What are you going to do? To come out of that character that you have recognized now. Fight to come out of it. Declare fasting. Say, Father, I must not tell lies again. I told myself I won't lie. I won't steal. I won't gossip. I come out of pride in the name of Jesus. Don't romance that character. It's not good. It will kill you. Don't romance it. You are the one that will discover it. And you are the one that will apply the medication. And get out of it. Hallelujah. Bible tells us, book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. He said, fight the good fight of faith. This world we are living is a battlefield, so we need to fight. And Apostle, said, Apostle Paul told us in 2 Timothy that I have fought a good fight. Eh? He said, fight. This world itself is a warfare. You must fight. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul fought and won. Jesus fought the devil in the book of Matthew chapter 4. The devil wanted to pull him down with food. He said, hmm? Man shall not live by bread alone, no. but by every word that is spoken by the mouth of God. Satan brought pride. He said, jump down. He will give his angel charge over you. The Lord rebuked him. Eh? So don't be proud, though. don't be arrogant. My friend, begin to fight the battle of faith from today. Joseph fought and he overcame. Hallelujah. Many are winning. Why not join the winning side? How do you overcome? Give your life to Jesus as the Holy Ghost to help you. Father, I don't want to tell lies again. Ah! Lie is not good. If you are a liar, you are going to hell. Tell people who you are. Don't pretend. Don't tell people who you are not. Don't go and sleep with other people's husbands, sleep with other people's wives. You are looking for big trouble. Don't try it. Come out of it. You can only learn people in trouble. Be conscious of that sin. Hallelujah. You know you are not good in, in money matters. Don't hold money. They give say, no, 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 no. I cannot keep money. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Begin to recognize your own weakness today. Oh. That's what the Lord has asked me to come and tell you. Hallelujah. Make that area a no-go area. You love women too much, don't go close to women. You love money too much, don't go close to money. If you talk too much, stay in your house. Stop moving from place to place. We are looking at the sickness of character and how to overcome it. I'll give you facts on how you can overcome it in Jesus' name. Be conscious of it. Make that area a no-go area. Accept that Hallelujah. Accept and pray for God to deliver you. Wake up and pray. Tell God to deliver you. Father, I tell lies. I don't want to tell lies again. Eh? Pray until something happens. Push until something happens. So that character that is always making people to laugh at you behind you. I know some friends when we go for an outing, cannot control their appetite. You should come out of it. You are, you are filled with anger. There was a day I saw a pastor's wife in church. He said, Auntie, I went to her, she did something. I went to her. I said, Auntie, why did you do this kind of thing in the open church? He said, Sister, you know, say I get the spirit of anger. She was so bold to tell me. I said, Sister, you have not started this your Christian race. Even in the church, you were displaying anger. And you are just telling me that you know I have it. God forbid. What are you going to do about your own? Your own is in anger. Please come out of it. Is it lying? Come out of it. Is it pride? Come out of it. Is it open eye, big eye? Nobody can own this world, though. You can only use a peanut, small part of it. So come out of it by yourself. Accept that weakness. And pray it out of your life. Accept it. Recognize it. That's what we are talking about. This one is not Jesus that will come and recognize it for you. You are the one that will recognize it by yourself. You are the one that will say, okay, I have listened to this telecast. I talk too much. I eat too much. I sleep too much. I'm filled with the spirit of anger. Begin to recognize that weakness from today and pray it out of your life. 
receive grace to pray that weakness out of your life in Jesus' name. There was a lady in my church, she's a pastor's wife. One day she just displayed anger in the open church. I ran to her, I said, sister, what's the ministry? He said, you know, say I get the spirit of anger. I said, huh? You don't even know that what you are displaying is negative. She did not recognize it. May you recognize that evil spirit. When we are looking for evil spirits, so I'm not possessed, oh. I'm not banjo, I'm not in wish. If you are a thief, you have evil spirit. You are full of anger. It's an evil spirit. Behind every negative act, there is a spirit. Cast it out of your life. The way you bind the devil, bind it like that. The way you pray against your enemy, pray that character out of your life like that. Hallelujah. So today I'm here to remind us, including myself, I know how many bad characters I have fought and won. Jesus will give you grace to win. In Jesus' name. Fight it all. Don't romance it all. Don't keep it all. It will destroy you. Those people I mentioned, Judas Iscariot, he didn't fight that bad part of his life. He perished. Something perished in the hands of his enemies. Huh? That woman that was caught with that man in her bedroom, whether it was rumor or truth, they said she went to commit suicide. Yes, it's the, that's the result of it. Hmm? You are holding people's money. You, you know you cannot hold it. You, you, you collect it and you, you use it. You ridicule yourself. Children will be laughing at you. Say, don't mind him, that useless man. May that character not destroy you. May you recognize that sickness today and come out of it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So this month of March, we are marching forward. We are marching out of negativity to positive life. Amen. So I pray for you as you are watching me from wherever you are watching me from. I give you five seconds. Look at your life. What's your sickness? What's the sickness in your character? Uh -huh. So if you have not recognized, you better recognize it now. It's not time to talk too much. Recognize it now before it will land you in trouble. Yes, so your mates are laughing at you. There's love in sharing. Anyway, get uh -huh. You are sick. You are a woman. You cannot, you cannot control yourself. You are fighting your husband every day. You are sick. You go to church. When you come, I say, we'll just have put Bible down. Make we just have fight. You are not a child of God. You are not born again. We can deceive ourselves. We speak it. Everybody is hearing us. They are clapping for us. It's a lie. You are deceiving yourself. Don't deceive yourself anymore. Present that soul to Jesus. Present to say, Jesus, I'm a liar. Please deliver me from lying. Jesus, I'm a thief. Deliver me from stealing. Jesus, I'm a talkative. Deliver me. Jesus, I'm proud. Deliver me from pride. Anything that is not good, don't do it. Don't do it too. Because God is interested in your relationship. He loves you. He wants to relate with you. But when these things are in you, you only speak and not have gain access into your life. I pray that God will help you. God is helping many people. He will also help you. And since I got this place so many years ago, God has used it to help me. And I've changed in so many ways. And I pray that that same God will help you to change. All the bad, bad things I used to do, I do them no more. All the bad, bad character I used to have, I have them no more. All the bad behavior I used to have, I have them no more. There's a great change since I met God. My beloved, the Lord loves you. That sickness in your character, I curse it from his root today if you are willing in Jesus' name. May he leave you alone in the name of Jesus so that you can focus on what God created you to be. You are a woman. Focus on your marriage. Take off your children. Leave other people alone. Don't put people down. If you are most of people down, people will be there to pull you down. I'm talking about people. Choo, 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 choo. There is work in your house. You have not done it. You are a man. You have a family. You are not taking care of your children, your wife. You are busy running. Who, who gave you assignment? Some of you are very easy at releasing your secret to people. Talking. Who sent you a message? I'm asking you. Who sent you a message? That your friend you are telling your secret. Do they talk to you? Sickness of character. Toku, toku. Lie, lie. Choppu, choppu. Sleepy, sleepy. Come out of it. Pride. Come out of it. It leads you nowhere. Keep your secret secret. Have time for yourself and your God. If you don't have anything to do, lie down in your room and read your Bible. Sing unto the Lord. And the Holy Ghost will come and speak unto you. 
I pray for you today that the God of heaven begin to reveal himself to you in the name of Jesus. After watching this telling, watch it over and over. Share it with your friends. Let's warn ourselves. Nobody come and tell this sister, your character are not good. You call the vex. No. No, let you first discover her. I say, I would not do this thing again. I'm telling myself, Jesus help me. And he will help you. For this month of man, please, first leave Satan first. Don't give him attention. Give attention to your life. Check your life. Use the word of God to check your life. Let the Holy Spirit tell you. The area you are not doing well. To your God, to your fellow men, to yourself, and to the world at large. Which area are you seek? Present it before the Most High God. Bring it to the altar of God. He is ready to deliver you. He is ready to help you. So that you can sing that song like others who have overcome. It's only those that overcame that shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says in the book of First John chapter 5, verse 4 and 5. He told us there. He said you have to overcome. Let me quickly read that portion. First John 5. Let me quickly read it for you to hear. Mm, verse 4 and 5. 1 John 5, verse 4. I'll read it for us to hear. And that Bible says there, excuse me, the Bible says there, Whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is our victory, that overcometh the world, even our faith. You are supposed to overcome that sickness in your character. Hallelujah. We see grace to be an overcomer. You will overcome that character in Jesus' name. From today, the Lord empower you to overcome that bad character. It is well with you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name, I declare it is well with you. Amen. Now share, like, and comment. I want to get feedback from you. What is this page doing in your life? Is it helping you? I know. So I'm waiting to hear from you. Until I come your way again, remain rapturable. May his presence never depart from you. May you live right because eternity has no end. It is well with you wherever you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.